Hello everyone, this is Emily from Grammy's Garden. If I seem out of breath, I've been rushing, rushing, rushing all day. Uh, I just got back in from a town, a larger town near me, where I got some groceries, had to pick up some stuff and came back home. But anyway, I made these this morning. I intended to show you all the process, but I just used an Amish bread recipe, and then I made it into some nice, nice sticky buns with raisins and brown sugar and cinnamon. And um, I'm getting ready. What I plan to do is for, tonight, for tonight's dinner is to make eggplant parmesan. But as it turns out, um, I went to one of the big stores in that town and not a big box store, but a big store, grocery store, and there were no eggplant at all. And I thought, okay, um, I was just, I wasn't wanting to really replace the lasagna noodles because I love them. But I also wanted something that was add a little bit more, like the eggplant would add a little bit more nutrients. So what I did is I went ahead and just got some zucchini and I'm gonna slice the zucchini lengthwise and go ahead and just saute that lightly and then just layer it with the rest of the things I'm layering. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my burger out. I thawed this this morning in preparation, and I also have a loaf of bread in the oven that I cannot forget. And I'm really bad about doing timers for some reason. And so I didn't have, I didn't have a timer on, so I'll have to keep track of it. Um, I think I'll saute some onions and garlic first, even though my sauce I'm combining I did just get this defrosted. This is out of the freezer. This summer, I froze my homegrown tomatoes, some eggplant that I had, and garlic and onion. So this is a really good sauce on its own, but it's not enough to do as big a pan. I'm going to want to do like a pan and a half. So um, nine by 13 and then a nine by nine, so that I'll have extra to put in the freezer for nights I don't want to cook, which is most nights when I'm cooking for myself. So um, I'm going to have that to put in it. So I'm going to get myself all assembled here and get it going and then I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Right now I'm just going to start getting ready to saute these onions this in the pot. This pot here, I have water on to boil and I've got some salt in it. And I'm going to put just a little bit of olive oil in here. I really like this Bertoli olive oil extra light taste. It's really, really mild and I can even put it in breads and it doesn't flavor the bread like olive oil. So I'm going to get that going. And I'm going to saute onions and garlic. And I'm going to be using a marinara sauce that I got today. I've got some here uh, that I got from stores, and it's got it's like four cheese, four cheese marinara sauce, and this is the extra chunky vegetable. And since I was just kind of wanting to go with that vegetable theme tonight, I'm going to mix it with mine, and I won't need to use the whole thing, I don't think. Probably got a little bit too much oil in the pan. Look at what my garlic's doing. This is garlic from my garden last year and it's like putting out sprouts, trying its best to grow. And I've got garlic put out already that I put out in the fall. I am gonna take one of these, maybe a couple of these cloves and use them. They're okay to use when they're like this. It's not gonna harm anything. I mean, it's not gonna alter the taste or anything. But um, you know, when something's wanting to grow that bad, it's kind of like, oh, let it grow, go ahead. Get out there and get out there in that garden and plant this stuff. It's wanting to grow. And I really don't think I have enough garlic planted. So I've got some others like this out stored in my garage. And I might just go ahead with that and do that. So I'm going to cut off that green piece. I don't put the garlic in 
in the beginning. And the reason I don't do that is because garlic gets bitter if it gets too dark. I want the onion to be sauteing first. And then I'll, once it's getting kind of translucent, or kind of a clearer look, like you know it's getting pretty well sauteed, then I'm gonna go ahead and put the garlic in and lightly saute that because it's all gonna go into a pan in the oven where it's gonna cook. Um, I cook mine at 365 with foil over it for about 45 minutes and then I take the foil off and let it go ahead and brown a little bit on the top with the cheese. Okay, these brown. onions are where I want them and I've got the garlic in there. I chopped about a fourth cup of onion because the other sauce, that I, my sauce and the other one both have some onion in it. If you all could see around, it's been a chaotic morning here, let me just say that. And all I could do is laugh about it. I thought when I came home I would have dough that had risen all over the stove and down onto the floor, but fortunately that hadn't happened. So into this boiling water, I'm going to put these lasagna noodles. Now, these are the kind that have not been pre-cooked. However, if you've got a really juicy sauce, like this one's going to be pretty juicy, you don't really have to cook the noodles. What I do, would do is just go ahead and prepare it. And actually, that's what I'm going to do with this anyway, is I'm going to prepare it and layer it all up, and then I'm going to let it sit for a while before I put it in the oven. Then I like, and it seems like my family likes the lasagna better, if it has time to sit like out on a counter for a short time, so that it kind of, the flavors all meld or congeal, they meld together, and it just has a better flavor to it. So, since I'm not doing, just relying totally on lasagna noodles, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and just do them all because I do have that smaller pan to think about. I'm going to crack that one in two. Sorry to have my back to you guys. Um, into the trash can. I'm trying to tidy as I go because my kitchen is an utter disaster. My kitchen looks like a seed starting station in one part of it. It's not. It's just everything's piled. My house is small. <laughs> I've got just different priorities I'm doing right now other than being the best clean house I could have. Things are clean, they're just piled right now. So, in here, I'm gonna put the burger. And we're gonna have lots and lots of um, like seasonings in these marinara sauces, but I'm still gonna put some salt and pepper on this. So that's over a pound of ground beef. I buy a lot of ground beef at one time and I bring it home and I divide it out into portions in Ziploc bags and freeze it. Portions like if I think, okay, this is a company size portion, then that's what I fix. That's what I'll choose out of the freezer. Some of them, you know, I could put in just enough that I could make myself a burger, or if I think one of my kids might drop by that evening, two burgers. So I just kind of portion it out, and I really do like Sam's ground beef. I don't have a butcher near me that I know of. I've asked people, do you know, do they know of anybody? And then I've got some pork, Italian pork sausage that I'm gonna to add to this too. For some additional flavors. Then I got all my cheeses over here I gotta combine. Now I just push these things down in as they start boiling. And I, like I said, I've already put the salt in the water. Some people say don't do it. Don't put salt in the water first. Some people say do it. I just am cooking the way I've always cooked. And I like how it turns out. So we each develop our own tastes for stuff. I should just cut this right on down through here. Oh, that smells good. And that's got even, you know, some more Italian seasonings in it. I'm not going to add any other Italian seasonings because I've got the stuff in my homegrown sauce. 
This is going to make a big batch. And I'm hoping maybe I can freeze part of it. And I have a couple people. Maybe I can send some portions home with them, too. That will be here for dinner tonight. If you hear a front door open, your dogs go ballistic. It's because my one son, who lives in a different town, is coming down. He's coming over today when he gets off work. And uh, when he comes in the door, these dogs are glad to see him. Actually, these dogs are, they're good girls. They're friendly, friendly girls. Okay, I'm going to get this turned up so we can get this going. I want to break this up. I need to get myself one of those burger, you know, one of those burger sticks that you that have the four different levels on. They look kind of like a windmill at the end. That's my mind. That's the way my mind works. So I'm just going to brown this up, and I'm going to be cutting up, washing my zucchini and cutting it up to get it ready to go. I want to be sure this stuff incorporates. I'm going to cut up the zucchini. I'm looking out my kitchen window, and I see the bluebird. The bluebird is coming back again. I think this bluebird's wanting to munch off of me like a couple times a day, and my daughter told me once a day is all they need. Um, when the weather's not real cold, and we're like 41 or so right now, so actually, that little freeloader, I want them to stay around though, so I'm, I'm calling it a freeloader, but I do want it to stay, so I may take some mealworms out. My daughter loves bluebirds, and she brought me, gave me a bunch of mealworms to, once I saw that they were coming around the box out there. I'm just going to slice this thinly. I'll show you all about what the slices are like. And i got to check my bread. i got to remember there's bread in the oven. Hope I didn't harm that bread by uh, going to town and leaving it to rise because I did put plastic wrap over the top. And it may have stunted it because these cinnamon rolls sure didn't get stunted this morning. It was the same batch of bread. Okay, you see this? It's just about that thin. And I'm going to do another one. And I'm going to layer it just like I'm layering this. Just gives, I like it. It just gives more nutrition. And like I said, there were no eggplants in the store I went in. And it's a store that carries probably, usually, I've never seen them not have eggplant. Let me just say that. In probably 20 years they've been there. And they did it today. So, no eggplant parmesan. We're going to have lasagna instead. Yeah, this bread kind of worries me. It looks a little bit dull. And it was very alive when I left here. Okay, so you get the idea. When I'm getting ready to incorporate it all and layer it in the pans, I'll come back to you. And I'm going to show you... The mixture I put together, I mix cottage cheese, mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, and an egg or two eggs. With this, it'll probably be two eggs due to the fact that I'm making a pan and a half. Okay? okay I put in my sauce, my sauce that I had frozen in the freezer, and I put in a jar of extra chunky garden sauce. And then I put in a half of this with water and shook it up real good so I could get all the, the tomatoey stuff from up there. And you can see I've got a really nice sauce here. I'm going to let that boil, let those flavors come together. And this here, there's set aside. That's my zucchini. Combine the cheeses and we'll just build this. All right, I need a carton of cottage cheese. I'm not going to use an entire carton of cottage cheese. Hey, 
to take my glasses off because when I drained the noodles, steamed everything up and I couldn't see where I was going. Now this I'm going to play by ear, so I'm going to leave that out. And I've got a bag of mozzarella. I looked in my, my fridge and I had some bits and pieces. So um, I decided to go ahead and use those. And let's see here. Another scissors. I told y'all when I'm cooking like just meals, I don't do a recipe, but in the description box, I put a real close amount. So that was at least half of a container. That's a 24 ounce container of cottage cheese. And then I'm putting in, probably will need to add more cottage cheese to keep it, make it be moist enough. Put in almost a pound of mozzarella and then this is six ounces and I've got some in the bottom so I'm gonna put in that's probably like three ounces don't think that's gonna be enough okay this is done enough of this and turn that off I'm gonna take my bread out of the oven and I should not have gone off and left that bread, I see, but I, I thought it was kind of what I had to do at the moment. So I have this loaf of bread. It looks like it, uh, I did inhibit it somehow by leaving that plastic wrap over the top. I put the rest of this container of cottage cheese in here. So since it was 24 ounces and there was probably a serving out of it, that's probably at least 18 ounces or so. I just eyeball it. If this is too dry, then I'm going to have to add more. I'm getting ready to mix up two eggs in this cottage cheese container, and they'll just kind of, they aid holding this together. Like an emulsifier, not an emulsifier really, but just not a binder. It's just does something to the cheese mixture. So these are nice looking egg yolks. I was just telling my son that um, eggs in our area are starting to come down in price. I hope it stays that way. We'll see. But there was a sign out at a place here in this town that I live in. It's like 13000 or so. There was a sign out in front of one of the supply stores, farm supply stores, that said the baby chicks were available. So I'm going to be looking into that. If I'd had time today, I would have actually stopped and, and gone ahead and looked. But, got to get them a little dwelling first. And we've got plenty of time. I'm, I'm having to focus. I'm not having to. I'm wanting to focus on my garden right now a lot more. And um, I have some really good soil that's going to be coming in the next two weeks from Bluebird Composting. Their headquarters is Fulton, Missouri, and they have a store in Columbia, Missouri. But Bluebird Composting, that's where I got the raised bed soil from the very beginning. It's, it's their raised bed mix, and stuff has grown three seasons, a fall, two summers, some, spring, summer, and fall. And now I'm heading in to the next year. I'm, I'm just going to be topping it off with some compost that you can get from there, and then they're going to provide me with some biochar that'll help uh, with some soil that I have that needs amending that I didn't get from them. So I'm so glad knowing that's on its way. That lets me relax a whole lot and know that the effort putting in getting these seedlings going that I've been doing, if you see my other videos on the seedlings, and they're sprouting. Things are sprouting now within three days. I was just talking to a lady in Columbia, Missouri at my pharmacy, and she said it's just like everything's wanting to grow right now. So I'm going to assemble this, and I'm going to put, I put a little meat sauce on the bottom of the pan, then I put 
and the noodles. Then I put a little more meat sauce, then I layer this, and I'm gonna put the zucchini, and I'm just gonna keep on layering it. So I'm gonna show you like the first round, okay? So round one, and I think I'll use it dipper here. Again, I apologize. I'm kind of doing this video um, because I really wanted to get one out today or get one ready today. And um, so I'm not like doing my overhead camera and stuff as much as I normally would be. So this is how much. That was about two and a half dipper spool. I'm gonna even that all out. And then I'm gonna, I use my fingers <laughs> because this isn't hot anymore. I drain these and I want these to be sure and to be able to absorb um, these are cooked well enough that I don't have to worry about having plenty plenty of of the uh, sauce because it's gonna absorb they're I mean they're done enough that it it would be no problem <clears throat> Oh, that's looking so good. So I'm gonna get my zucchini. I'll put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna lay them kind of like right in there so everybody's gonna get a nice piece of zucchini. And I think I want that one a little thinner. So y'all forgive me while I cut it a little thinner. I wanna be sure if I'm gonna put the effort into this that we're gonna have good food to eat. So I want it a little bit thinner. I'm gonna slice that right in two because you don't want the zucchini to overpower the rest of the bites of food. I just love zucchini, but I really like eggplant in this as well. Have any of y'all ever grown eggplant? I'm gonna be growing some this year. I grew some um, but I grew some last year. It, they were volunteers that came up from the year before. And I bet you I had 80, at least 80 little eggplant plants out there in that garden come up volunteer. Shows how things will grow. And we just worry and fret, is it going to do okay? And then all these little volunteers come up. Okay. And I'm going to put in some of this cheese mixture. Spread it out. And remember, I've got another pan over here that I'm going to fill too, but it's a small pan. I don't know if it's a 9x9 nine nine or an 8x8. Eight eight. It doesn't say on it. Somebody gave that pan to me. Ooh, that's going to be good. It's going to be luscious. Alright. Another layer. I'm going to put this for this pan over here. Same with that. I want the bigger, longer ones here. There we go. You don't have to keep your layering exactly right. I'm telling myself that as I'm realizing that I really don't think I've got it all layered exactly right. When I say right, I mean in order. So there is no right. This comes out tasting great, which it's going to, especially with that Italian sausage. I don't do that much, and I thought, boy, I think that would be really good with a roll of Italian sausage in there as well. Might be able to freeze some of it. Okay, y'all get the idea. Okay, I just took this out of the oven. You can see the zucchini here. Oh, that looks so good. It smells so good, I'm anxious to eat it. Now this is the other one. I I felt I filled this other one much fuller. This is the one that I'll probably um, freeze pieces of it and eat that when I want to in the upcoming couple of weeks. And that's it. And we're gonna have, um, I've buttered the top of that. I could have made some, crushed some garlic and made garlic bread, but I'm getting kind of tired today. It's been a long day. So anyway, there y'all are, y'all. I hope that you understood all my steps 
it's kind of like making a lasagna. You just kind of up the amount of vegetables because you've added that good nutritious zucchini. And then if you've got your home uh, sauces like the one I had in this, you're gonna have all kinds of goodness. So there you are, have a great evening.